Hello all you wonderful people and greetings from Akihabara, Japan, the center for otaku, nerd, culture, anime, maid cafes, and all those wonderful things. But if you just go outside the main strip, go past a bridge and look for a building with a giant cow on its head, you can see a strange vending machine area. From the outside, it looks just like any other vending machine area, except for the addition of condom vending machines. One of the things that you give away that this is not a normal area, it says this is not a toilet, <laughs> which I don't know why you would think that. But the psyche you walk over here, you start noticing some strange things. These are boxes of cookies or snacks that have some pretty demeaning things on them or talking about drugs. And you can buy the cookies, which are normal cookies, for 490 yen, which is about $4.50. And you can have a cookie with some weird Japanese on it. This one says that I want a larger ding dong. Uh, I'm hoping for 25, but I've seen people with 28. Okay, that's that's incredible. Here's some more of those cookies with some negative things on it. Then you can find some oden in there, which is like uh, like soup, soup with, with, with eggs and stuff in it. There's a big can of oranges right here, some gold coins, and uh, more boxes with negative things on them. And then what looks like gummy balls. I don't know, I don't know why. Okay, I thought I'd never see this in my life, but this is a vending machine that actually has toy fighting bugs inside of it. They, they are right up here, plain to be seen by everyone. Also, jellies. Why would anyone want to come here and get a, a fighting bug? I, I, don't, I don't understand. But you know, hey, same person probably wants some bells in a jar. I'm not sure why, but there's batteries here next to these fighting bugs. I'm still amazed on these fighting bugs. And there's also stuff you could put into your bathtub. And also, of course, they have toothbrushes here. I don't I, just, I don't understand. Other than a can of snails, which I'm sure most people would want, they also have a can of uh, salmon right down there as well. Yummy! There's three hidden vending machines back here. Whoa. Whoa, this is tight. Well, there's four. I'm sorry. More of those cookie things with weird golf balls. Uh, more... Uh, ew. Like fruits. There's uh, one of those automatic machines that has some fish with balls and stuff on it, some crackers. Uh, this is weird. So back here, it looks like trash. I'm afraid I'm gonna get killed over here. There's a popcorn machine that is unfortunately out of service. And uh, this looks like it's out of service, but it's not. It's just got mostly normal things, except for the Odin. That's, that's kind of strange. But never fear, if you want some popcorn, there's a working machine right here that you could get a cup full of popcorn right, right here. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Ooh, I'm gonna run into someone back here and they're not gonna like me. More of those fighting bugs, some candy, a train that's in here. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. For some reason, those fighting bugs are super popular. They're almost in every single machine. You could even get a fortune right here if you wanted that or a toy car. Why though? Why? I would go to a vending machine and say like, oh, I really want a model bullet train. Yeah, that'd be great today or whatever the heck that is. One has to ask, why does a place like this exist? Japan says, why not? This is probably the weirdest uh, vending machine area that I've seen in Japan. I mean, on Osaka, they have the 10 cent yen machines. These are not as cheap as those, but boy, it's weird and strange. There's a lot of weird toys and a lot of weird things that people are saying on these boxes of cookies, and I'm not sure why. But I can tell you one thing. You can do it. I can do it. We can all do it. Stay groovy and have a wonderful day. If you want to see more strange things from Japan, click that subscribe button down there, and, well, I'll keep up all more. Peace.